The actor Tom Wilkinson said, once you've looked into the darkness, I think you'll carry it with you for the rest of your life. Now, I don't think he was talking about dark mode in Google Chrome, but he might have been. These days, more and more people are switching dark mode on in their operating system, and they expect that preference to be carried over to every application and indeed website that they visit. Well, luckily, offering a dark mode version of your website that can be automatically shown is now incredibly easy to do. And it's all thanks to a CSS media feature called Prefers Color Scheme. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this plain CSS approach to magically switch your website between light and dark themes, including how you can test it out easily in Google Chrome. <laughs> This is the website I've created to show you how dark mode theming works. We've got a simple piece of HTML on the left here with a body tag and a couple of paragraphs. Then on the right is the results rendered in Google Chrome. Now by default, our website is rendered in light mode. So that is the background is this light color and the text is black, or at least it's very, very, very dark gray. The CSS for this page is just in the style tag at the top here, but everything I'm about to show you is of course possible using external CSS files, which is how in general you'll be writing your CSS anyway. This just keeps it nice and in one place for the demo. Now you can see I just have these three lines of CSS. This first one is set in the font family, and then we have a background color that's very light and a foreground color that's very dark. Color by itself in CSS sets the default color of the text on the page, remember. To implement an optional dark mode for this web page, we can add a media query. And then we can use this media feature called prefers color scheme and then dark. What this does is it says any styles inside this block will be applied when the user has said they prefer a dark color scheme. So this means they've gone into the preferences on a Mac and selected appearance dark, or they've selected dark under choose your default app mode on Windows, or indeed they've gone into the settings on their mobile and they've chosen dark mode. You can do that on both iOS and Android, of course. So if one of your website visitors has set their operating system to prefer dark mode and they visit your website in a browser, then modern browsers will detect that preference setting and they will use the CSS inside this media query. So let's test this out. I've got a new background and a new foreground color in this media query here. This will make the background dark and the text light. As you can see by default, my web page is still being rendered in the light mode. And that's because when I make these videos, I have light mode preferred in my Windows settings. If I were to go into Windows and change that to dark mode, then this page will change. But it's actually a simpler way to test this out. And I'm gonna show you that now. If you've got Google Chrome, like I have, then you can open up the DevTools, and down here you can click on these three little dots and choose Rendering. Then if you scroll down a bit on the Rendering tab, you'll see this uh, option here, Emulate CSS Media Features Prefer Color Scheme. If I have this on no emulation, then Chrome will just use whatever I've chosen in Windows. But if I change this to dark, then you can see our page changes. Now Chrome is rendering this as if the user had taken their operating system into dark mode, and you can see the colors have flipped. Change it back to light again, and we can go back to light. So there you have it. With just a few simple steps, you now know how to create a dark mode version of your website that automatically respects the theme of the user's operating system. By using the preferred color scheme media query, you can show your users a different version of your color scheme. That makes your website more accessible and it makes it more user friendly. I hope this video has been helpful. If you've got any questions or comments, then please pop them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. My name is James Charlesworth and thanks for watching.